It's a big bump in pay takes effect today for half a million fast food workers in California now getting a minimum wage of $20 an hour. While it's a welcome bump for those working in the fast food industry, others warn it's going to come at a cost in other ways. How do you feel about that? Sounds good, I will say, you know, raising up the minimum wage, but you paying them twenty dollars now, how much is the Big Mac gonna cost? How much the big the yeah. number one meal gonna cost? So you're saying I mean everything's gonna go up. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay, if, okay. It's gonna have to, right? If I'm yeah. gonna start paying more money, if I'm if that's the minimum wage, and then yeah. that means the manager, if he or she wasn't making twenty dollars an hour they need to be making more than <laughs> the person who just got hired so we're that's sure. going sure. up yes okay yes. so yeah. everybody's getting a little raise yeah so and, and you know the longevity the people the shift lead the the manager everybody's got to get a little bit more now district manager i need to lead yeah let's, let's everybody get, take it up a little bit too yeah you got to so if, if you do that for you know, make it twenty dollars, we'll just say you know with Burger King or whatever. I don't know, but twenty dollars bare minimum. What effect does it have then? You say it's going to affect the price of for us to go to those establishments, right? Right. What else would it affect? Kane, I might be thinking too far, but if I find out everybody's getting that. A little raise, a bump increase. Mm -hmm. I mean, that apartment, you know, when it's time to uh, renew that lease, oh, let's go and raise it up a hundred more dollars. I don't know. Maybe. I maybe, don't. I mean, maybe. Let's maybe raise it up a little bit. Stretching a little bit. You may be stretching it. Could be. I'm gonna I'm I'm tell you. I'm gonna tell you who it affect too. It's going. It's definitely going to affect the small businesses now mind you they don't have to do the 20 they, right they don't have to do the 20 because they don't have that many establishments right to be affected by this right like mcdonald's burger king wendy's whatever right mm -hmm. they don't have they don't have that that establishment but if i if kane is working at mom and pop bakery yes. right <laughs> and i'm getting 15 but mcdonald's paying 20 don't you think that i'm gonna leave <laughs> I'm gonna leave the mom and pop. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm leaving, I'm leaving the pizzeria. I'm leaving that and going over to Pizza Hut. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Why would I stay there and get less? So that means the uh, um, that forces the uh, smaller business to raise their minimum wage. All right. So now, yeah. how do they stay afloat with this overhead of these salaries now mm. that they need to pay? Well, what you congregation, just congregation, congregation. Hey, hey. Let us know how, how y'all feel about this. Is this a plus? Is this is this like thumbs up? Let's see how this thing goes, or whatever. Because mm -hmm. and, and I hope we get somebody from Cali. I hope Cali responds in the comments or whatever that's actually directly um, affected by this. But what do y'all think? I get it that the uh, cost of living is crazy. I yes, get it. Yes. That's, what, that's what people will say. Like, man, the gas is ridiculous over there. The the uh, housing is yes. ridiculous. Or whatever. Everybody got to stay with everybody and 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 divide the rent up three or four ways. Whatever, right? Just to you know live there. But now it's affecting everybody else too. So now that we're we're doing twenty for the uh, bare minimum, that's a high school student. High school student getting twenty dollars. <laughs> I'm gonna be at work early every day. Every day. Let's go. Six, 16 year old, I get twenty dollars. Mm -hmm. Twenty dollars, and I stay with my parents. You know what I'm saying? I stay with my parents, but I'm getting twenty dollars an hour. I'm there every weekend, uh, in the evenings or whatever when I'm not at school. That's who getting the money too. Guaranteed. So yeah, man. So uh uh well, is there anything else that affected? I mean, what do you think? That was what I was. Well, that's what I was looking at. Well, what you just said too is now it'll be harder for the possible uh, small businesses to find someone. Yeah. 
to even push the products out. Yeah. Now is is family if they want to help out, if they want to work, which mm-hmm. they need money too, and they can go to one of these establishments and start making that twenty dollars. But I tell you this, with that being said, it's gonna make the I think the the industry uh, as far as food service and the, the fast food industry more competitive, higher selection. Okay. We pay them twenty dollars an hour. The people that's not doing, that's just showing up. Oh, I, they might be gone because I know I'm going to get people that's that's that want, that really want to work. That really want to work. I can I can clear it out. Now I can run a tight shift. I know everything's going to be done. I'm going to clear them out. They're going to have to go. Do you think that it would affect other businesses, not just restaurants? So do you think like places like, let's say, for instance, I worked at Home Depot and I'm getting 17 over there, but I know that over there at uh, McDonald's, I can get 20 or more. Well, so now what does that force Home Depot to do? Maybe even raise their minimum wage, right? right. So if they raise theirs, that's going to change the prices of that lumber that you that you want or whatever, right? Well, it's going to change prices of that. Possibly, possibly, but uh, shout out to Home Depot. I used to work there back in the day, yeah. uh-huh. uh, many years ago. I worked there, and uh, they have that profit sharing, you know. So that's a a big thing, you know, if your store is doing well. But yeah, it possibly could affect them, you know, to yeah, to raise it up a little bit, you know. But yeah, Walmart came. Well, came. I only know that's around, but Walmart. I mean, <laughs> so, look. It's the same. It's the same thing. They they would have to compete with the restaurants now. But but I will say this though. Again, if they're paying, well, you say they are paying that. They're paying that mm-hmm. something to have to give. Somebody's going to have to take on that uh, increased salary, and that is going to be the patron, the customer. Yeah, that's too. That that happens too. Definitely. That is going to happen. That is gonna happen. Definitely, that happens you know? too. Yeah, so, yeah. I, I mean, thumbs up, thumbs down. What you say? I'm, I'm not. I'm not a hundred percent sure. You know, I'm not a hundred percent sure on that. I, I want to see where, what happens. You know, in a year with this right mm-hmm. here, because California they try to be innovative in a lot of different things, but we still they're homeless and the the way that they're living over there uh yeah. is it, it's, it's bad it's bad for i'll say america in general you have it's a lot of money that's out there in california your silicon valley everything else but then you can go different places and you've been there and the homeless community is everywhere we did a episode of building uh, taking over the sidewalks, oh, yeah. putting tents and everything else. Yeah. Something has to be done yeah. over there. Yeah. And they think that, you know, by doing that minimum wage, that's that'll really help. But I mean, I think there's a lot more to it than just handing them more money. You know, I think other things will change too, and other businesses will change too to adapt and adjust to that. So what did I hey congregation? Different topic. Kind of, you know, everybody, you know, at, at face value, it sounds real good. But how it do y'all feel about good. it? It sounds good. It's like, man, it's about time, you know. But is there are there other things that may come up? You but, know? but how y'all feel? About it? But Kane, I got a question too because, mm-hmm. you know, usually, you know, we we when we get into school and middle school and high school and back in the day, we used to have a workman's permit when I was fifteen and all that. Uh, and you go to a fast few, you know, a lot of fast fuels are filled with younger people. Um, but fast food was usually not a job where you're getting paid, where you can pay your your rent, your car insurance, your car note mm-hmm. and things of that nature. So let's say in four more years, are they going to try to raise it up again? Let's say I don't know. $26 or, an hour. 
And you know, another thing that we didn't even think about, and I, I know they've been doing it in these restaurants, is just uh, mm-hmm. getting rid of the the uh, actual people. Get, getting rid of the actual people and uh, having AI do a lot of the things. Having you go up there and you have to touch a screen to make your order and all of that. So you don't even have nobody at the register. You just, you know. Oh, yes, 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 yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's over in... Uh, gas stations and everything that have an attendant there but you can mm-hmm. just go over there and then and family dollar and different things yeah you're yeah they're minimizing yeah cutting down on the on the personnel because you yeah. can go into That's a lot of walmarts down. and mm-hmm. sometimes depending on what time of day self-checkout self-checkout yeah is that's what, what they'll have you doing they have you doing all the work <laughs> they will have you doing all the work, guarantee. And I and I and what was so crazy about Walmart and their self checkout is they thought that that would help, you know, as far as in salaries. But then they find out a lot of people were stealing. Yes, now they, yes. They saying that you have to have a, maybe a membership part that with the Walmart Plus in order to use utilize. And they, I guess they started in different, you know, uh, WalMarts or whatever. But you got to have a membership with that, and that's a hundred dollars a year or something like that. But you have to have that membership in order to use the self checkout. So I guess you would scan your barcode or whatever just to activate it instead of, or just go through the line like everybody else. But but one thing I will bring up, and this on the West Coast, but um, so I'm on the fence with this because I tell you when I came up to see you and going to sometimes fast food in uh, DC. And even around Maryland, I was surprised to see a lot of our older people, elders, working in those establishments, you know. And I will say this right here. A lot of them are working in there, not just to do some type of job. You know, they could be a greeter at Walmart, just talk to people. They was actually working on the registers, doing this and that because the cost of living and then what people are paying for house, apartment, condo, more families are are living together and you need all these different incomes just to get by. So it does need to raise, but I don't know to what degree. Mm. And you know, what's, what's interesting about this and we've talked about this in previous, um, uh, podcast episodes um do do we have a right to a living wage do you remember that oh yes i do yes. and then you were you were straightforward you was like <laughs> that's what needs to happen it needs to be able to match well that's what california is trying to do being able to manage and, and match the um livable wage and make the minimum twenty dollars so you you were for that but now you're against it or well, I'm, I'm still for it, uh, Kane. But and then I have a I have a butt in there. I, I would uh-huh. just like to see what goes on with California in a year. Mm-hmm. With this just taking uh, effect. Let's see what re- really rises and how successful they are uh, with this. Yeah. You know? And then yeah. just depending upon where you stay, uh, is I say it's a good thing that this is not. Uh, nationwide because some areas the cost of living is not as expensive as say being in California, say being in New York. It's not the mm-hmm. same as being here in Alabama. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. I get it. I get it, man. Let us know, y'all. Um, I mean, it's an interesting topic to me. Yeah. It's interesting, uh, you know, how they, you know, made that decision to do that. And um, are there ramifications for it? Or is this is a plus? It's it good. only goes up from here, you know. You know, it, it may be we may be talking out the side of our neck and not saying what really the uh, circumstances that may happen. Maybe we're just you know being mythical with that, or maybe we're actually having a point. Let us know in the comments. Let us know how y'all feel about it. Well, go Kane, ahead. if they go to thirty eight, forty dollars, forty five dollars an hour, next order, please. Welcome to McDonald's. <laughs> I'm there. Okay. <laughs> Let's yeah, go. Yeah, go ahead. You'll go ahead and do that. What what skill does does it need? You'd be like, well, if if you're making 30, 40 at uh McDonald's, then what do you think a a, a roofer or a plumber or a carpenter is making? 
Oh my God. You know what I mean? They were making a killing then. They make $120, $200 an hour, whatever. <laughs> it, it just keeps going up and up. I don't know. Hey, look, yeah. that's the uncomfortable truth. Let us know how y'all feel. Hey! Let's go. Baby. For sure. You know, if you don't want to see us, but you want to just listen to us, we on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Amazon, Pandora, iHeartRadio, Google Podcasts, all of them, all of them. 